and we'd like to welcome everyone to the Beachwood Independent School's 150th year anniversary celebration weekend. This is our elementary school dedication and time capsule presentation ceremony. Time. Let me please welcome our elementary school music teacher, Miss Alyssa Vanderpool, as she comes and sings the national anthem. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting citizens can achieve, I've yet to find it. This school, this community is quite simply very, very special. Beachwood came to be because a group of parents were committed to creating a neighborhood school where students could receive an exemplary education. 150 years later, Beachwood remains the embodiment of excellence. Beachwood students excel. Our athletes excel, as do our musicians, our artists, and our faculty. Beachwood produces young citizens who go out into the world and make a difference. We are grateful that many of them, our alumni, are here today with us for this ceremony, and we appreciate them being here. We've come a long way since 1860. But this school and our students and our faculty and our parents have never lost sight of the earliest commitment to high expectations, academic excellence, athletic achievements, extracurricular accomplishments, and our rich traditions that are so dear to the hearts and souls of all of those that had come before us. This is Beachwood School. That a plan started a lot longer ago than that to seek excellence. Wouldn't it be great one day of your life to do one thing excellent? I know for me it would be a, it'd be something special. We decided to establish as a goal here years ago a, an era of excellence. And if you came to kindergarten on the first day and everyone around you was thinking about being excellent and showing you how to be excellent and having you think about striving to be excellent in every single thing right down the line, then chances are you would turn out excellent. My wife read a quote in a book some time ago and showed it to me that said, where excellence becomes a tradition, greatness will follow. Well, we're turning out some kids who are going to show us greatness. So as a returning grad like you, you should understand that every day from my position as board chairman through all the board members down through Mr. Miller, the principals, every single teacher here, every child here, we're thinking about being excellent and providing an experience in school academically and socially that will get our children where they want to be. Any school in the country you can name, we have graduates going to and doing very well and achieving that. So thank you very much for coming back today. It's nice to see you. I hope to meet a lot of you. And let's keep the excellence going. So Ms. Jamie Flaherty 
the elementary school principal will come forward and read the poem, Those Big Wide Doors. Those stairs yawning upward to big white double doors standing like sentinels. What more can be said? What lies beyond? Will they like me? Will I like them? Will I change? Will I learn? Will I succeed? Will I grow? Hundreds, yes thousands of students have ascended those stairs to throw open those doors to a whole new beginning. Wherever we came from, whatever walk of life, no matter what the circumstances, BG Tech has awaited all of us, enfolding each one. It's really gratifying to see how the school has grown over the years. Uh, the, my wife graduated in a class in 1960, and they're having a, their own special reunion here from 50 years ago. One of the interesting stories that just happened is they were looking at the old part of the school, and they came across all the trophies that were uh, from the state high school championships. And they were really amazed at how many championships, because many of the, the uh, alumni live out of town. And one of the students said, well, we showed them the way. <laughs> and it was kind of interesting because uh, they had a perfect season when they were seniors. They didn't win a game. <laughs> Jack Westwood. Well, congratulations, Beachwood, on your uh, 150th uh, sesquicentennial. That's a lot of uh, words or letters, but uh, it's a lot of years. But uh, on your celebration and also for the dedication of your uh, elementary school today, I think it's, uh, it's great. I bring you greetings from the uh, Senate of Con Commonwealth of Kentucky. Um, a citation, and it reads like this. Know ye that the students, faculty, staff, and administration of the Beechwood Independent School District are recognized and honored as they join together and with the citizens of Fort Mitchell, Kentucky, and the surrounding area to celebrate the 150th anniversary of this exceptional school district. Founded in 1860 by a group of area residents, the Beechwood Independent School District was originally comprised of a single school in a two-room structure, which taught first grade through eighth grade. And since that time, it has grown to include two public schools, Beechwood High School and Beechwood Elementary School, and one private school, Blessed Sacrament Elementary School which educate a student body of 1,100 students in grades ranging from 1st through 12th. Having earned a stellar reputation over the years as one of the finest school districts in the Commonwealth, Beachwood has earned numerous honors for both its athletic and academic programs, including most recently having Beachwood High School ranked among the top 1% of American public high schools for the third consecutive year by Newsweek magazine. in dedication of our new elementary school. Mr. Mike Dammer, the board chair, please cut the ribbon. <laughs> Mr. Brad Hood, please place the time capsule. And we ask our descendants to open this vault of history in 25 years.